India has found lithium in for reserves of nearly 5.9 million tons in Jammu and Kashmir. Everyone is talking about this, but what does this mean for us? And is this the first time that lithium in for reserves have been found in India? Let's find out in today's episode of Chitti Media's news summary and analysis. I'm your host, Advocate Shreya Agarwal, and I'm here to take you through this episode of the show. First things first, what exactly is lithium? and what are its uses well uh, lithium it's the lightest solid metal on earth it was uh, discovered by swedish chemist johan uh, august arfvedson more than 200 years ago it has a uh, high thermal conductivity and very low density uh, in its various forms it is used in applications ranging from uh, antidepressants to parts of aircrafts However, its uh, most popular application is of course in none other than lithium ion batteries. It is uh, one of the key components in rechargeable batteries for mobile phones, laptops, digital cameras and electric vehicles. It is also used in some non-rechargeable uh, batteries for things like hard base makers, toys and clocks. Now, uh, which countries in the world have the largest reserves? of lithium something which everyone seems to be after in terms of reserves it is uh, chile australia and argentina that top the chart with 9.3 to 6, 6.2 and 2.7 million tons respectively however in terms of production it is actually australia chile and china which uh, produce 90% of the world's lithium in 2021 Therefore, though much of the world's lithium comes from uh, South America and Australia, it is China which dominates the worldwide supply chain for lithium-ion batteries. Now, coming back to the question, is this the first time that India has found lithium in for reserves in the country? No, this is not the first time that lithium in for reserves have been found in India. In fact. The Atomic Core Minerals Directorate for Exploration and Research that is AMD uh, it's a constituent unit of the Department of Atomic Energy it has been carrying out exploration for lithium in potential geological domains in uh, parts of Karnataka and uh, preliminary surveys on surface and in subsurface exploration as well by the AMD have shown presence of lithium resources of about 1600 tons in uh, the mandya district of karnataka earlier as well further after extensive project training the geological survey of india under the ministry of mines takes up field season program annually under this it has already undertaken different stages of mineral exploration such as uh, reconnaissance surveys which is g4 a uh, preliminary exploration which is g3 and general exploration which is g2 now the current discovery of lithium reserves is actually a g3 find that is it was found in preliminary explorations undertaken by the geological survey of india a uh, previously during uh, different field or uh, seasonal programs the gsi has carried out about 14 projects on lithium and associated elements in uh, states such as bihar chatisgarh himachal pradesh jammu and kashmir jharkhand madhya pradesh meghalaya karnataka and rajasthan however during the current fsp of 2021 to 2022 the gsi has taken up about 5 projects on lithium and associated minerals in uh, arunachal pradesh andhra pradesh chatisgarh jammu and kashmir and rajasthan however despite all of this your latest inferred resource of 5.9 million tons is very very significant in the context of the known reserves of the top 3 countries that is uh, chile australia and argentina this time the reserves have been found by the geological survey of india and jammu and kashmir's riasi district the reserves have been found in salal haimana area of riasi so you ask how has india been procuring lithium till now well india's uh, lithium ion battery demand just to give you a backdrop it is currently about 3 gigawatt hour and it is set to grow to 20 gigawatt hour by 2026 and 70 gigawatt hour by 
एट प्रेजेंट इंडिया इम्पोर्ट्स ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ इट्स लिथियम आयन सेल रिक्वायरमेंट फ्रॉम चाइना एंड हॉन्गकॉन्ग इन फैक्ट इंडिया हेज स्पेंट सेवेंटी हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी वन थ्री फाइव मिलियन डॉलर्स टू इम्पोर्ट अबाउट फिफ्टी फोर हंड्रेड लैक यूनिट्स ऑफ लिथियम आयन बैटरीज ड्यूरिंग जस्ट द पीरियड ऑफ अप्रिल टू नवम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी Now India's imports of lithium and lithium ion in FI21 started uh, somewhere uh, between 8900 crores and increased to almost 13838.22 crores in uh, financial year 2022. Earlier the mines ministry has said that the government has taken measures to secure minerals including lithium from Australia and Argentina. Uh you ask me what is the worldwide demand for lithium like so No prizes for guessing there that the worldwide demand for lithium has been extremely high and it is uh, projected to go up by almost 6 times uh, by 2030 so the worldwide demand for lithium to put it in figures was about 350000 tons in 2020 oh uh, why is lithium so important for india or uh, like most other countries in the world india too has uh, an electric vehicle vision uh, india's ev vision of 2030 whether government has targeted 30% electric vehicle production by 2030 make it important for india to procure lithium at uh, reasonable rates or at least cheaper rates india's ev ambitions coupled with its uh, self sufficiency approach make it vital to ensure lithium security or uh, just to give you a fun fact a lithium ion battery pack for a single electric car is estimated to contain about 8 kilograms of lithium in this whole backdrop the discovery of these reserves becomes even more significant for india's ev goals in fact talking about india's ev goals the indian government's efforts to push penetration of electric vehicles into the market it goes back a few years it's not something new for instance in 2019 itself the government had introduced a provision by the finance act of 2019 wherein it had allowed tax deductions on interest payable on any loan taken to purchase electric vehicles and this is therefore all loan sanctioned for the purpose from april 1 2019 to march 21 2023 so if you're planning to purchase an ev vehicle on a loan this is the time to go for it no better time uh now the government has also removed customs duty on equipment and capital goods used in lithium ion cell manufacturing uh bringing down the custom duty from uh, 5 to 20% almost to nil till march 31st 2024 why is this uh, discovery important for india well uh, talking about the us's domestic lithium reserves a professor at an american university has commented that a domestic source has tremendous value then we can do things that only china is doing currently with production similarly for india while this is only a preliminary stage if india is able to scale up its production capacity then the discovery of these reserves combined with reduction on import duty of machinery required to produce lithium ion cells is expected to boost domestic manufacturing and eventually improve competitiveness of exports further as the world moves fast towards green mobility this two prong boost to lithium ion cell production in the country is also likely to of course facilitate the electric vehicle ecosystem development finally the discovery of these reserves is also especially significant as it happens in one of india's most turbulent states jammu and kashmir where the government is trying to restore normalcy and encourage development this was all for today's episode of jyoti media's news summary and analysis we hope to see you back for the next one thank you and namaste Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyawad. Namaskar.